is going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to Auto Auction Rebuilds. We are back at Copart for another Copart walk around. Let's jump into this today with number one on my list, a 2021 Tesla Model Y with only 14,588 miles on the odometer. Looks great. You're probably wondering why this is here. Maybe it's a flood. No, it's not. It took a little bit of damage to the rear end over here. In my opinion, it didn't look that bad from the pictures, but apparently, it was bad enough to toll it. Then again, it seems like any time a Tesla is in an accident, they just total them out. Uh, they, they, <laughs> I don't know. You tell me how bad this is. This, it took a nice little crunch back here. It went beyond the outside skin and obviously went on to the inside. There's a considerable amount of damage here, but it doesn't look that bad to me. I think somebody could straighten most of that out, man. And, uh, well, you know, I don't think you can use Bondo on aluminum, and I don't think anybody buying a Tesla would appreciate a Tesla with any Bondo on it. So, you know, right thing to do would be to just replace this whole rear panel here. I don't know how involved or how difficult that is, but it just seems hard to believe that it's totaled over that. That just, it doesn't look that bad. A little bit of damage to the wheel here. Um, the wheel cover for sure is destroyed the wheel underneath it's got some nice chunks taken out of it as well so you'll need a replacement wheel and a replacement quarter she's got power that's unusual that's rare that's rare that you find one of these with power oh i personally don't like the model y I don't, I think it's an awkward looking vehicle. It doesn't know what it wants to be. It's like a crossover. I always thought the crossovers were really weird looking too. It's like, are you a car or are you an SUV? Uh, I don't know. And apparently neither do you. I understand that there is a market for it. These are super popular vehicles. So I'm not knocking anyone if they like them or if they own one or if they want to own one. Absolutely not. I don't know, just, for me, it just doesn't do, it's too tall. You see, see it, it's, it's just, it's so awkward looking. I know people can say, well, coming from a guy driving a Hummer truck, you wanna talk about something awkward looking, the Hummer truck is super awkward looking. I agree, I agree, I can't argue with you. I can't argue with you on that, guys. I won't even try, I won't even try. I'm just saying, this is just personally not my, not my taste. I would go with a Model X if I was looking for, you know, like a Tesla, more SUV style, which I think is what this really is going for. I would definitely go for a Model X. Let's open the frunk. Let's open the trunk. Let's have a look. Yeah, this is nice. I mean, it, you know, it's steering alignment service recommended. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna guess something on that back wheel over there probably is out of whack. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> That's nice though. Tesla's real nice about telling you when you need an alignment. Let's take it. Oh, there is a lot of space back here, though. I'll get okay. I'll give it that. There is a ooh Sonic. That about made me sick. Really deep well in there, so you got a lot of space back there. What do, you, do we have an extra seat back here or something? What is this? Oh, it just folds those down. Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So, yeah, I, okay, I can see where this is relevant now. That's a that's a ton of cargo room. That is a ton of cargo room. Okay, I get it. I, I I get it. Just still for me, it would be it would be a no. I've had a lot of people wondering why I got rid of my Tesla or Teslas. I'm sorry, both of my Teslas. Guys, there's plenty of room in there too. There's spider webs under there. Um, I'm gonna make a, a separate video someday about it. But I'll keep it real short, sweet, and to the point for those of you that are watching this particular video, uh, just to show my appreciation for those of you that have been wondering. My red Tesla that came from Carvana, it was in a wreck, and they didn't tell me. It was not reported to Carfax. I did not know about it. But the entire passenger side of my red Tesla Model 3 Performance, it was completely repainted. Michael from Santa's Workshop, he came out and looked at it too. It had runs I mean, literal runs in the paint where they repainted from the front all the way to the back. There was overspray on the underbelly tray for the front bumper. There was overspray all in the wheel well, all over the suspension. And there were runs in the paint all the way down the side. They had painted the whole side of the car. They did a bad job. That's why I got rid of the red one. 
I was lied to. It had been in some kind of a collision, some kind of an accident that required the whole side to be repainted, and that was not disclosed to me. And uh, unfortunately, I didn't find out about it till after my return period was over. And instead of trying to fight, you know, the whole deal, which I probably wouldn't be able to win anyway, I just let it go. I just let it go. Now, the gray one, same color as this, right? Why did I get rid of it? 2022 Model 3 Long Range. <laughs> oh, I'm going to tell you. Jessica and I took it to the car wash for the first time. So excited to go wash it. I know, I know. You shouldn't run your cars through automatic car washes, blah, blah, blah. It's my car. I don't care. Okay, I don't care about getting some swirl marks. It can be detailed and that can be corrected. We go to the car wash. We run it through the automatic wash. And I'm like, ah, this is nice. Then water starts pouring through the dashboard. I've got it on video on my phone. Water started just pouring through the dashboard onto the floor. And I was like, you've got to be kidding. That's not all, though. Hold on. Can we turn this? I, I already forgot how to use the damn radio. There we go. Or no, maybe it was this one. Anyway, I was getting error messages from my cameras. I'd be driving down the highway, right? Cruising along 75 miles an hour. The, the 2022 would slam on its brakes randomly when I was using autopilot. I also had full self-driving. If I was in autopilot mode or for full self-driving mode, it would slam on the brakes. I could be going 75 miles an hour and it would just hit the brakes and drop me down to 40. Like there was something in the road, but there was nothing there. Did this all the time to the point I could no longer use full self-driving or autopilot. At nighttime only, I would get error messages popping up on the screen. Down here, it would say left pillar camera obstructed or blinded. Then it would say right fender camera obstructed or blinded. Then it would say multiple camera like failure or malfunctions. It was such a heap of crap. I couldn't believe I bought it. I couldn't believe I bought it. I was so mad. I was so mad. So, you know, what are the options? You got a brand new car. It's got a warranty. The option is I have to take it to the nearest Tesla location. I have to leave it with them and they don't do loaners. So I don't get another loaner car. So I get to pay for a car that has to sit at Tesla while they figure it out and fix it. I'm sorry for a brand new car. I ain't got time for that, so I sent it down the road too. There's why I got rid of both of my Teslas. Probably should have made this the thumbnail, right? Yeah, I probably should have. I think this gets more attention than that does. Yeah, in fact, maybe I could change the thumbnail. I'm not, I'm not going to. This is a 2017 Dodge Daytona. This is a Charger RT. It's the Daytona package. So she's purdy and orange. And she's got big wheels and she's got Brumbo brakes. She's also got 76,000 miles on the odometer. And she's got a little problem on the passenger rear quarter over here. Looks pretty good so far, right? But uh, you get here and, well, suddenly she don't look so good anymore, does she? she? She took a gnarly hit in a really gnarly way that just, excuse me, that was a hiccup. Um, fixable. Yeah, I would, I would assume so. Frame rail damage? Well, uh... Yeah, yeah, frame rail damage. Yeah, for sure. For sure. There, there's going to be a lot of work going into this one. Um, she's rough. She's rough back here. But I bet you can still get in it and burn damn tires off of it. I guarantee you that. I get, look, look how this quarter panel has been shifted. Look at the gaps here. Oh, my goodness. It's it's bad. It's bad. She took an... Oh, oh man. Uh damaging the leather that sucks i'll close it very gently i didn't know that was in there oh that hurts that hurts so bad oh no are you kidding me up here too come on man it's got the carbon fiber package either that or it's just got some fake carbon over overlays let's see yeah that's not that's fake that's plastic Oh, well, they tried, man. They tried. I wish the uh, the auto parts places, I mean, not the auto parts places, the uh, body shops and insurance companies, when you've got a destroyed bumper, pieces that are just, you know, no good that can't be reused, just throw them away. You know, just throw them away. Don't throw them back in these cars where you're going you're gonna to screw up the interior, man. Come on. Yeah, 
the the body shop slash insurance companies do that now i understand if you got rocker panels that are still usable you know you probably want to include those so that the next person doesn't have to spend the money on but if if including something is going to cost more damage to the interior than that part just leave it out just just leave it out <laughs> Oh, does she have power? No, no, she does not have power. Boy, they went crazy with the carbon overlays, didn't they? I, I mean, they really did. They went, they went crazy with that high gloss carbon fiber stuff in here. I don't like that. I don't. That's not my car, so I'm not going to sit here and talk smack on it. But I'm just saying personally, wouldn't have done that myself. Look at those brakes. Carbon ceramic? You betcha. Those rotors are huge. Those Brembo calipers, what are those, six piston? Guarantee you, six piston calipers right there. Those brakes, those are the real deal. Under the hood, what we got under here? Oh, oh, oh. yes, sir. You see it. You know what it is. That's the 6.4, baby, powered by SRT. That's the uh, same engine I think I'm supposed to have in my pick -em up truck if I ever take delivery of it, which I still don't know if I'm going to or not. Why don't we throw a jump pack on this thing? I bet she sounds mean. All right, you guys ready for this? <laughs> this is a nice car. I really like this. I really like this. I do. I think this Daytona edition is a beautiful one. Oh yeah. Oh, uh-oh. Hey, no, 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 no. Why did you do that? Don't do that. Come on, man. No, come on. I'm, I don't have time to play these games with you. Uh, I hate electronics. I hate electronics. Up. Stay. It's not going to. There we go. There we go. It stayed. No, are you kidding me? Are you serious right now? Come on stay look i'm not touching i got one hand on the camera the other hand right here the door i'm not touching it, it and look 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 it oh the air conditioning is turning itself on and off can we just turn that off she's having she's having some issues we have no display the display is randomly coming on and off it's got a dead battery, I guess. It's gonna take a minute for that battery to charge up. There it is, see the display? <laughs> the display comes on and off. Yeah, let's give her a little throttle. God, that sounds nice. You're making me miss my Hellcat and I don't like it. I don't like it. You're really making me miss my Hellcat, man. I know this isn't a Hellcat, obviously. It's a scat pack. If you want to get down to brass tacks, it's a it's a scat pack. Um, I understand that, but damn, man, there, there really is just something. Listen to her purr. There really is something about these, man. Now, the voltage is up there, so see if I can get that window to go up. I definitely don't want that window to stay down. Oh, work with, there we go. I think she's got enough voltage now. Yeah, the dashboard is staying lit up. We got a battery light on. The battery is just super dead, super, super dead. I think she's good now though, guys. What do you think of this one? This is it right here, man. This is it. I think this is the last one on the list, guys. Looks like an 01 Ram 1500, the Magnum V8. Yes, sir. 221,000 miles on the odometer. You got that hard tanu cover and a toolbox. Okay. That's interesting how they divided it like that. That's nice. That's nice. This looks nice. I love the way these hard covers look on these trucks. I really, I know it's a matter of preference. Some people love them, some people don't. Personally, I like them though. Looks like somebody had some aftermarket rims on this thing and before they got rid of it, they took them off and threw the stockers back on there. She used to be a different shade of red, as you can see right there. She's dinged up a bit. Looks like she's been well used. Got some Bondo flaking right here. Lots of cracking, 
down here bondo cracking here as well she might have a little rust under her guys she might have a little rust not a bad looking truck overall though and it's listed as a run and drive which is pretty cool it does say here something about the brakes i think bad brakes so this has been at another auction and it didn't sell it's a laramie slt so now it's here oh boy the interior is bad we're missing some uh we're missing some lug nuts down there and the lug nuts that are on it are the wrong ones so oh, this door doesn't this door doesn't work this window is coming apart the interior is really bad like she's this is really really rough it smells not particularly good either oh the steering column is taken apart as well oh boy i bet money that under this dash cover she's tore up let's take it oh yep there ain't no dash left under there that's typical though that's typical fired right up she sure did listen to that listen to that would you listen to that oh boy this this is all <laughs> oh wow wow hold on that's all coming apart oh great the windows oh the way <laughs> you're kidding me come on great lovely all right the windows back up don't 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 ask questions that the, the <laughs> whoo she's rough i'm gonna leave it at that she's she's real rough guys uh it looked pretty good for the pictures it did but uh i don't feel i just don't feel the same way about it now that i've seen it in person that happens a lot you got zip ties holding the grill on bad paint messed up windows tore up interior i believe she got a 5.9 under the hood she does run good though she does she runs really well she sounds healthy yeah she sounds healthy let's take a look at what's going on over here yeah i mean this it's just yeah uh Oh man, I about fell. Yeah, guys, as nice as she is. <laughs> Kidding, of course. <laughs> I'm gonna have to pass on this one. I'm gonna have to pass on this one. Uh-uh. Let's try out the air conditioning though real quick. Let's see if she does anything. What do we got? We got a low washer fluid, brake light. Oh yeah, there ain't no brakes no brakes at all low washer no brakes and abs now the last one of these i bought from copart also had no brakes it was from a uh, an exploded rear wheel cylinder it was no big deal put a new wheel cylinder in it bled the brakes she she was great after that air conditioning that's uh hold on wait 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 hold on i was about to say that's a no No, that's a no. There's no air conditioning. Let's put on the e-brake. She goes into gear. Oh yeah, she goes into gear. Yeah, she does. Um, I wonder if it's in... Uh, it was in two. Now it's in four high. Yeah. Let's put her in neutral. Let's see if we can get her into four low that don't feel like four low to me yeah i don't know guys four high i've got no four-wheel drive lights coming on at all up here but anyway yeah i don't feel any difference between two high and four low so i'm just gonna throw that out there too and say i'm pretty sure the uh Pretty sure the four-wheel drive don't work either all right oh damn it that window's coming down stay uh, 
Lovely. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. That's gonna be it. We're gonna get out of here. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. And if you didn't, hit the thumbs down button. Definitely drop those comments down below. Tell me what you thought of today's cars. And if you enjoyed the content, also consider subscribing to the channel. Maybe even sharing the video with your friends. I would truly, truly appreciate it. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.